Hey folks, it's Dag and welcome to my channel. We're going to talk about some upgrades I've done to my Hangar 9 108 inch OV10 Bronco. I've added some hardpoint pylons underneath the fuselage so I can hang missile pods and bombs. These are things that were not stock on the aircraft. There is a center pylon for the external fuel tank, but I wanted to add some ordnance. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. So let's dive into this, folks. So essentially, folks, this OV-10 Bronco that Hangar 9 made is just an excellent aircraft, and I'm going to do a lot more videos about it. But I wanted to create a way to hang the bombs off the bottom of the airplane. Okay, the missiles on the wings come stock with the aircraft, and the centerline pylon for hanging your ex external fuel tank comes stock on the aircraft. But I wanted to have a way to hang the MK-42 bombs in the uh, what, two and three quarter inch rocket pods off the bottom of the airplane. So I designed all of this in th uh, Fusion 360 and I'll share those drawings a little bit later in the video. But these are 3D printed with ASA. I use a 0.4 and a 0.6 millimeter um, nozzle. Uh, tested both of them. I had my nozzle temps uh, 245 to 250 and I had my bed temperature at 95. And they turned out perfect. Now keep in mind, you're going to do a lot of priming. Okay, and sanding to get them this smooth. These hard points that I made, I wanted to make sure they were adjustable so they could fit either the rocket pod or the bomb. And I did these with 440 uh, little screws, and I'll show that in a minute. But uh, And I printed the little black cups out of um, flex, black flex. So these turned out perfect, folks. I really, really was excited. Here are the little hard point mounts. And those are 440 screws that you can actually screw in and out to make them fit nice and tight into the um, onto the bomb or the rocket pod. I also wanted to print some pretty scale looking fuses. These can spin in the air, but they will slowly melt the ASA if you get too much friction going. And there is a arming wire that goes in there too. So when I went into Fusion 360, folks, and if you followed my channel for very long at all, you know I love to design in Fusion 360. And... These files will be available on my website, and I'll share that link in a minute. But I want to be very clear, folks. I'm not giving these away for free. I'm actually selling these because these took me a just ginormous amount of time to design and make sure all the parts fit when you go to print it. To me, it's very important if you get an STL file, everything pretty much fits the way that you're going to print it. Okay. Sometimes things need a little bit of sanding, a little bit of massaging, but I just want to have files that are going to work. And you are going to prime and prime and prime to get all of the lines out of this. And I did point at a print, I'm sorry, I did print at a 0.2 millimeter layer thickness. Okay. So these turned out really, really kick ass, folks. And I, as you can tell from the earlier pictures, it looks really good on the aircraft. And they don't hinder the way the plane flies at all. So when you get the uh, STL files from my website, you'll get all these drawings with it. It helps you know how to put it together. And if you go to dagsdesigns.com, you'll see under the online shop, the STL files for this. Um, another thing about this, folks, uh, is it's not easy to get these on and off the airplane. So I designed these jack stands. And if you followed me long at all, you know, I've done jack stands for a couple of years for my planes. But you're going to need some way to lift this plane up into the air or somebody just tilt it back and hold it while you change the ordnance because you might want to fly one time with just bombs or with rocket pods or a mixture of rocket pods and bombs okay so this is really kick-ass folks i really uh, enjoy this whole project i mean it just it turned out perfect um and like i said the plane flies virtually no differently with these hung on it you know um and the weights are pretty insignificant this is a 48 pound airplane and it flies like a trainer. It really does. It's got a big old wing, lots of lift, a really good airfoil. And these uh, ordinances hanging underneath the airplane really make it look cool in the air. I have so many people compliment the way the plane looks like when it's in the air. Okay. So when you really think about making these though, okay, you're going to 3D print these like this. I use either a 30 minute epoxy or I use CA. I've experimented. I made like a dozen of these just to make sure how they go together. Again, you're going to prime, prime, prime and sand, wet sand, and get this until it looks as smooth as steel. Okay, because you know the real ones have that steel casing. And then you can, you know, and I use a rattle can for all this stuff, just a shake rattle can of paint. Okay, I use the Rust-Oleum. 
and it turned out really, really good, folks. Another thing is I will have the pylons on my website. These are the pylons for free. You can download these for free on my website. And uh, that way, if you want to build your own ordnance and hang them off the bottom of the airplane, at least you've got pylons you know that will fit the Hangar 9 108 inch, which is called the 30cc uh, OV-10 Bronco. And uh, it's a really exciting project, folks. I'm going to post a lot more videos about this Bronco. Have an awesome day. Rock on. Uh, take care of each other. And I will talk to you next time. Be safe. Bye-bye.